Good morning. <clears throat> this is Auntie and I am coming out here to spill a little bit of hot tea. The best part of waking up is folders in your cup. Guess what, everybody? This is Auntie, and I am coming out to spill some hot tea on Nephi. Nephiteria, the one who was on Ayala Fix My Life last Saturday. Well, guess what? Nephi is, has filed for a divorce from Shelby. Yes, Nephi has filed for a divorce. And I think it is the best thing ever. I think that Shelby is going to be able to be free of Nephi. Nephi talked about on the Big Tigger show that um, Ayana had to be a gutter snipe in order to know a gutter snipe. What? A gutter snot, gutter snipe, whatever she called her. And she said that um, Ayanda called her some other names as well. Well, guess what? If the shoe fits, Cinderella wear it. How about that? But anyway, um, I digress. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, no, seriously. Nephi came out on the Big Tigger show and talked about her divorce from Shelby and that she is ready to be booked. And that, um, you know... Ayanna's show wasn't a way for her to get back out on the um, reality TV scene. But to me, if you interview him with Ticker, then you up to something. I mean, you know, why would you interview with him if that's not your ultimate goal? But anyway, that's what the T is this morning that Nephi is getting um, divorced from uh, Shelby. Shelby was really a caged-in man. He was in a loveless relationship with Nephi. Nephi loved him, according to the interview, for based on what he could do for her and not who he was to her. And so I am absolutely ecstatic about them getting a divorce. And I mean, you know, I'm usually not ecstatic about divorces and stuff like that, but I think that this was on time. It was timely and it needed to be done. I mean, it is what it is. You know, she goes on to talk about, you know, her grandbaby being born and that the baby could not breathe for 10, 10 minutes after it was born and that it was in um, the ICU unit or the NIC unit for babies and all of that kind of stuff. So congratulations on the birth of your grandbaby. And she said, you know, Frankie is a grandmother now. Okay. All right. A great grandmother. Okay, that's how it go. Grand, great grand, your mother, you, you know, it is what it is. I'm just happy to see that, you know, this guy's going to be free because he's been through a lot of stuff in his life. I don't believe that they have any children together, so he's going to be emancipated as far as I'm concerned. And be away from this woman. Because, you know, she's like, he didn't take me out. He didn't do this. He didn't do that. The only sad part about it that I feel is sad is that now that she's going to be available for somebody else's son. She's going to jack somebody else's life up and somebody else's world up. That's the only negative thing that I see about it is that this chick is on the market. God damn. So, anyway, y'all, y'all have a great Friday on purpose. I just wanted to come out here and spill that tea for y'all. And um, I'm sorry that I did not upload a video on a Little Women Atlanta, but I was extremely tired. I have been working late. That's no excuse. It's no excuse. But I promise you all that I will do another video on a Little Women Atlanta. I'm not done with it yet. So anyway, have a good day on purpose and know that Auntie loves you. Bye-bye.